Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sports TV, I'm your host, and this is the co-host for today, she went, well I mean, as I'm recording it, it is International Women's Day, and she is a female, so I guess it's fitting that I have a female co-host right now, today. Now, uh, last I checked, I was six subscribers away, only six away from the co uh the minor milestone of 250 which will like i said get us one quarter of the way to 1000 now that's just six away from 250 that is pretty nice milestone it's just a hard grind and i think everyone who is subscribed i think for all the more super recent subscribers i think the people who are current have been subscribed for a little while now from the early days to well Kind of early at the kind of early of the morphing the channel to almost a purely sports oriented channel. Uh, so I think all of that, all of y'all are subscribed, and I, I have eight people so, uh, in my fantasy baseball league, as y'all know. The draft for the fantasy baseball is May 3rd, day 1st, so that is the last day that uh, people will be able to join at all. Well, really, it's going to be May 30th. So if y'all, anyone's watching and you want to do it, the last uh, the last day to join will probably be around like May 30th. If you're more, I mean March 30th. I'm saying May, I mean March. March 31st is the draft. March 30th will probably be the last day uh, that people will be accepted. There's eight people in the draft, so I don't need anybody else. I don't need anybody to join. And like I said, I would like to get keep it to where I don't need to kick anybody. That's if I kick anybody, there, I would like there to be a justified reason. I don't want to kick someone for no reason at all, just because they happen to be an oddball. But so, but if you want to join, go ahead and join. I'm sure I can find someone to even it out. And I again, everyone who's joined, this is just a fun baseball league. There's no money in it. It's just having some fun, uh, seeing who. Probably could pick their better team better than the other people. And then, with that, I'm going to go more into the topics of today. Uh, there's two injuries that that happened. We lost Framber Valdez and Whitley. Uh, Valdez is probably, and Whitley having injuries in... Valdez is probably going to be long-term. Same thing as Whitley. Whitley's is definitely going to be long-term elbow injury. Uh, there's possible surgery there. Valdez has a broken finger on his throwing hand, which obviously is going to be a problem. But, but probably what's considered the biggest signing for the Houston Astros, since I made my last video talking about the Astros offseason, talking about how... Uh, Jake Odorizzi. We got uh, another pitcher to throw in the starting lineup to help with the rotation. Starting rotation. So now we got a pitcher who, with a closing, pro we got some uh, pitcher to help uh, with the starting rotation. Again, probably not the most elite starting rotation out there, but a really solid and deep starting rotation, especially once. No, drop. No. Especially uh, once Valdez is back. I don't think it's a season, uh, confirmed season ending just yet. And I'm hoping it's not. I'm hoping he'll be able to return uh, at least by the time the playoffs come. A playoffs? Yeah, that's a home baby's way of saying playoffs. But yeah, playoffs is... Uh, Astros are... The P play Astros are... Not a playoff bound team. They are favorites to win the division uh, by uh, quite a few people. So now me saying the Astros are a good team that are probably going to win the division. That's just not me being a fan biased anymore. There's actual good reason behind it now. Especially since they are the favorites to win. And this is extremely exciting for the Astros. This is probably not the longest video. This is probably not the most detailed video. But this is just good news. Jake Odorizzi. Signed by the Houston Astros. Most of y'all already knew. This is extremely exciting. Uh, 
So, again, our biggest weakness still seems to be in the back end. We got great batters. We got a great starting rotation. I don't know if I'd call anything elite just yet. But great batters, great starting rotation, a great fielding defense. And on top of all that, our bullpen, I don't think it's the worst anymore, per se. But we got to remember, last year we did have, especially at the beginning of the year, a pretty bad bullpen, especially on the back end. But uh, it's, That was a whole bunch of injuries. That was a whole bunch of rookies. But we got a, a few vet supports. We got someone with experience closing the game to help uh, Ryan Presley, at the very least, help Ryan Presley get his mindset good. And we also got to remember, with how good Jake Odorizzi is, the Houston Astros are known to make pitchers even better. So, this, so he's going to come to the Houston Astros and be a really good pitcher. Just like... Uh, just think... Uh, the person we got with closing experience is going to come over here and become a pretty good closer uh, or back-end pitcher. And he could help, again, Ryan Presley with the mental aspect of that game. Because Ryan Presley is a good pitcher, a good relief pitcher. That's why he was tasked the job of being a closer when we didn't have a closer. I wish we ended up getting a closer. And hopefully with someone with the closing experience, help him get the mindset, help him figure out what you're supposed to do, and Ryan Presley having a little bit of experience now, maybe he'll get better next season for this. And not, you know, at least part of the year, lead the league in most blown saves. Which is, again, when you're... Whenever you're one of the top team at 10 in... Uh, total runs, when you're, when you're the hardest team to strike out with the low strikeout percentage, and you're... But you have the most blown saves in the league. There, there's the people who keep saying the problem was batting. It's, it's, it wasn't. Everyone was struggling batting that year. There was many problems with batting for multiple players. It was an odd year in that area. And if Dashos were struggling and were still one of the top teams in scoring in that area, clearly everyone struggled. So, got people got to move on beyond that point. And look at the actual flaw, which was closing the game. Which, hopefully, we get a lot better at. Or maybe even just slightly better. Okay, even slightly better would be pretty good. And, you know what? With this Astros team, playoffs are definitely in the, in the shots. And this is a good shot for Dusty Baker. Probably his uh, Dusty Baker's last shot at a... Uh, getting a ring. I don't know if he's going to get a, another management job after this. I highly doubt it. Uh, I'm pretty sure he came out of retire somewhat retirement in order to come to the Astros. I don't think he was managing a team anymore. And so this is like his last chance. I don't. The Astros probably aren't going to continue him. We're going to have end up finding someone else. So this is probably Dusty Baker's last shot. Let's see if he can. Let's see if Houston Astros can get him a ring. This is a pretty good team. Like I said, it's probably I still kind of have a feeling of growing pains though, of a kind of a transition year as we are looking for a new manager. But this is a good team, so this team still has a shot. And yeah, Astro sign Jake Odorizzi. I'm sure everyone knows about it by now. But yeah, I'm finally. I'm finally uploading it.